live from the Twin Cities. This is the Fox 9 Morning News. Uh, eight local chefs won grand prize of $10,000. It is Minnesota Monthly's fourth annual Local Chef Challenge. That's right. It's happening Saturday and Sunday in the Rotunda at the Mall of America. And Amy Roscoe joins us from the International Market Square with a preview of the slicing, dicing, and the savoring mm. of the Chicago mix, I understand. <laughs> huh? Do not... Do not bust down the Chicago mix. No, I'm telling you, it's wrong. Bob, I brought some home and Bob picked the caramel corn out and then it's not Chicago mix no. anymore. It's, it's I don't know, yeah. it's Bemidji mix. I don't know what it is. <laughs> okay, we're gonna elevate the food right now because we're talking about a very fun kind of Top Chef style competition happening at the Rotunda at Mall of America, Saturday and Sunday. Last year's winner, Vincent Franquil, a, a chef whose name is mispronounced even by great chefs in this town. Yes, yes. So, I I'm not gonna say who was mispronouncing <laughs> it, Jim Kinberg, um, but um, last year you were the winner. How exciting was it to take home a $10,000 prize? Uh, it was a nice surprise, yes. nice surprise. Yeah, I wasn't expected, so it was good. Was it a tough competition? Uh, yes, well, I went with that expectation, so the pressure built down. And when you get on Sunday, and then you're like, oh my God, now it's, I'm really gonna go for this ten thousand dollars. Now that was, that's why you start to 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 stress, and uh, you know. So, but I, I did it. So I was, I was, you know, I don't like cooking competition. <laughs> Well, buck up, little camper, because you are in one. Um, and, and Vincent Franquil of Vincent, the restaurant on, um, it's and on Nicolette. Nicolette, yeah, Nicolette. Nicolette and is, you will be preparing what for us today? Well, today I'm going to make a little scallop appetizer with a um, little um, kohlrabi salad, blood orange. I put up some dates, some mint. So it's kind of a bit of a North African flavor. Sweet. So okay. So we're going to taste it in the next hour. You're going to need to stick around for that. Now, uh, over here in this corner, uh, Jim Kinberg is going to be be preparing from Crave, executive chef of Crave. You'll be doing what for us today? Uh, it's a play on Eggs Benedict. I'm going to be incorporating a little bit of lobster. Instead of serving it on a traditional English muffin, I'm going to be using a croissant in honor of my French chef friend over here, Vincent. So yeah. We're just wiz, wiz croissant. Oui. <laughs> you know, because they can take a word like with and make it sound sexy. Okay, you keep chopping, slicing, and dicing. I want to show you what last year's competition looked like at the Rotunda. Chef's going head to head. And one of the judges this year is Stephanie Meyer. She's a food blogger. And you got to see last year's competition. Now, it runs a little bit differently than what we're showing today because there are some ingredients that they must use and an ingredient with a twist. How did that play out last year? Well, it played out uh, in really fun ways because the ingredients with the twist were odd. Oreo cookies, gummy bears, ginger snap cookies, and in the end, the dish ends up beautiful and delicious, and it'll be fun to see what happens this year. So they get a basket of ingredients, and those might be slightly more conventional ingredients that everybody must use. Mm -hmm. Right. So that's four ingredients. The three are recognizable and not strange. Vegetables <laughs> and, you know, uh, meat and herbs and seasonings, and then the last is that, that twist to try to throw them off their game. So they're, they're, they're going along, everything's cool, they're making this dish that's savory, and then all of a sudden they've got this, this Oreo that they've got to incorporate into their dish. Did everybody handle it gracefully? I, it seemed like everyone did, because if you think about what an Oreo is or what gummy bears are, you know, you take that element, that sweet element, for instance, and I know the gummy bears were um, melted down and into a sauce, where you might end up with, you know, a little bit of a fruit and a little bit of sweet, and that it's can like, work. It's like that Budweiser commercial where they make an emulsion out of it or something, but like, but they really do things that are that creative. They really do. And they, if you think about what it is at its element, then it can be really clever. All right, well, Stephanie Meyer, food blogger, and the name of your blog? Is fresh tart. Fresh tart. You've got your work cut out for you, gal, this, this weekend. I'll come hungry. Yeah, come hungry, leave happy. And when we come back in the 7.30 hour, it's Vincent Franquois's scallops versus Jim Kinberg's eggs benedict with a little lobster. Mm. Oh my, how do you... We're going to find out who's the winner. We're going like, to crown a winner wee -wee. right it's here like on children, our show. how do you pick? You love them both the same. It's uh, wow. No. All right. You yeah. do?
Well, eight uh, local chefs lightening things up now a little bit. Uh, one grand prize of $10,000. It is called Minnesota Monthly's fourth annual Local Chef Challenge. It's happening Saturday and Sunday in the Rotunda at Mall of America. And M.A. Roscoe joins us from International Market Square this morning with a preview. And uh, what's on the line? Good morning, M.A. I gotta tell you, this smells mm. a lot better than the Marie Callender's pot pie Bob <laughs> made last night. <laughs> Fright from the box. Yeah. Um, this is just uh, fantastic. I am uh, speaking in Francais because I have with me Monsieur Vincent Francois of Vincent, a restaurant, last year's winner of the Local Chef Challenge. Yes. And you have prepared what today? Little scallops appetizer. You have kohlrabi, blood oranges, mint. I also top it with some date and breadcrumb, and also there's a lemon oil and a, a little bit of a saba. And this is sort of um, northern, yeah, northern Medi African, Afri inspired. Mediterranean. You know, being French, we're from all over the place. You know, sure. So it's more like you yeah. and your colonizing ways. That's what we do. You know, yes. we took the, the flavor and spices. So that's what we did. Very nice. And head-to-head -head competition, which is how it's going to work. There's brackets. Um, perhaps, perhaps the uh, NCAA men's basketball challenge is a better picture for you in your head. It's kind of head-to-head -head brackets, winners advancing, and you are competing today in our little throwdown against Chef Jim Kinberg of Crave Restaurants, and you've prepared... Uh, we did a play on Eggs Benedict using lobster, some fresh tomatoes, a little bit of spinach, hollandaise, and then to put a little bit of a spin on it, I did a ham powder instead of the traditional ham. Ham powder? Yeah, so we powdered up some ham. All the uh, pork flavor? Yeah, yeah, all the pork flavor. In powder yeah. form, I love it. Have a little fun with it so nice okay well we have some guest judges here so let's bring on the chef uh the the tasters if you will we have alex herder she is from minnesota monthly magazine we have greta baker she is from cambria which is where we are right now in the cambria kitchen and over here we have stephanie meyer she is a food blogger and also with minnesota monthly and you will be judging Saturday and Sunday, you know what, I'll, go, I'll let you guys get to tasting if you got your forks ready while I, while I speak to Stephanie for a moment. You will be one of the judges Saturday and Sunday at Mall of America Rotunda and you've got your work cut out for you because these are la creme de la creme, to, to borrow a, a quasi-French term, um, uh, chefs of the Twin Cities. That's right. It's going to be uh, just like it has been in the past. Last year, I was there last year. Uh, you know, it's going to be a real competition. And how does it work when it, when it really plays out at Mall of America? The ingre they, they have the same ingredients to work with? There's a pantry to work with, and then uh, the chefs are given a box, basically, with four ingredients. Three are conventional, and one is some sort of a strange twist. Like a wild card ingredient. Could be a gummy bear, it could be an Oreo. Exactly, that's what it was last year. Gummy bear, Oreo, ginger snaps. We'll have to see what it is this year. Interesting. So they have to be on their game, but they also have to be able to be creative to incorporate the wacko ingredient. Okay, I'll let you go ahead and take a taste because you are judging here today as well. Yeah. Greta Baker getting a... I think the judges are, uh, the chefs rather, are emphatic about everybody getting a taste of everything there. Okay, we've got 30 seconds left to go. Greta Baker of Cambria, uh, your choice. We have the scallops from Vincent Franquois of Vincent a Restaurant versus the lobstery, ham-powdered, not ham-fisted, ham-powdered <laughs> Eggs Benedict from Jim Kinberg. And your selection is? The Eggs Benedict. Eggs Benedict, yes. one vote for Eggs Benedict, okay. Step on up, Alex Herter. Um, the scallops. We got a tie-breaking vote. This is a little more excitement than I could have hoped for. And Stephanie? Brutal. Uh, I'm going scallops. So we've got two scallops. I'm gonna have to trot back here for a moment. La victoire, la taste de victoire. Ici, Vincent, you didn't know, you know, a little bit of French in the presence of a chef uh, from France, very dangerous. Dangereux. Um, well, well done. And well, you're, gonna, you. you're gonna stick around Sticking and compete around. head to head against another chef. Another French. You, another sir, French you French. sir, very worthy, but you are dismissed <laughs> for today. <laughs> and now you've got. Wow. <laughs> See, I if we knew the French word for dismissed, <laughs> it would sound so much more eloquent. Uh, yes. What is the French word for dismissed? Yeah, uh, dismissed. Uh, uh, viré. 
Virez. Kata. Virez. tout de suite. Mon Dieu. Tout de suite. Au revoir. If only he made ratatouille. Uh, wow. Would have been a winner. Would have been a winner. <laughs> <laughs> That's very Thanks good. Uh, he's a two-time winner there. Maybe. We'll find out. That was good. Yeah. Just like, it was gripping. We're, we're, we're paring him down. Uh, local chefs are battling it out for some big bucks in the fourth annual Local Chef Challenge. It's happening this weekend at Mall of America. But right now, I'm mean, Roscoe is live at International Market Square with a preview and uh, some good eats. M.A. Yes. Um, this is sort of our own local version of Top Chef condensed into two days at the Rotunda at Mall of America. Last year's champion and hoping to repeat is Vincent Francois of Vincent, a restaurant on Nicolet. And if, if you've had okay. nothing else, um, there are many wonderful things. If you've but never had a hamburger stuffed with short ribs, it's, it's going to change your life. It is. Actually, uh, I, did, I went through a French culinary school to come up with a burger. Really? <laughs> no, I mean, like, I don't even tell my old instructor that I have a burger. They'd be like, really? <laughs> You're making a burger? Yes. <laughs> Still. So, but yeah, people burglar. really love it. So, oh my goodness, it is wonderful. So, um, what you're going to be making for us today, just to kind of show off some of your skills, right. is I'm going to have a, a pheasant tender, which is uh, the uh, the part with under the, the the breast, and I'm going to have a little bit of a rutabaga with coriander, mm -hmm. and I make a little sauce that I finish with this little Provencal raspberry mm. vinegar. So that's going to be nice, and I season every the the pheasant tender with a little bit of a of uh, the coriander too, so. I like the cut of your uh, flavor profile, yeah. Jim, Jim, Monsieur. Yes, yes, um, yes. What was the hardest thing last year about about the competition? What, what was there well, anything me, that threw you? Well, when I show up, there was the Oreo cookies. That was a, that was a challenge. Do but you have Oreos in France? Uh, well, some kind. We don't have the same brand, right. but yeah. So that was, and it was with meat, goose breast, so we have so to... You, right, okay. So you had to put the Oreo with the goose breast. Right, so, so I made a sauce with a crust. Could be tricky. Could be tricky. So that was the crust, and, the, and, the, and I scraped the inside and make a puree with it. So Because you want to make it sweet, but you don't want it too sweet, right. so it's no dessert. We're looking at video from last year's competition, again, in the rotunda at Mall of America. Eight chefs going head to head, battling it out until there are a final two. Winner takes home $10,000. Stephanie Meyer, a food blogger and writer for Minnesota Monthly, you were there last year watching the action, preparing for your role as a judge this year. And um, because you are so involved in the food scene, what, what sort of trends are you seeing um, with our, our very explosive and excellent food scene that we have in the Twin Cities? Well, if you're judging by newly opened restaurants, charcuterie is definitely, I mean, it has been a trend and it's continuing to be. And apparently Minnesotans love good sausage and cured meats. Mm -hmm. uh, that's definitely, and, and then the, uh, the farm to table, seasonal cooking trend hopefully never goes away because that's the best food. And uh, I think that's exploding and growing. And, uh, you know, we've, we've been talking here about uh, kimchi and fermented vegetables and playing with some right, of that. So that was one of the ingredients last year and then all of a sudden it started showing up on menus because some of the chefs were maybe exposed to it and liked it, liked what they could do with it. So, well, thank you so much for joining us. Good luck with your judging. Um, and thank you, Vincent Francois from Vincent, a restaurant, for joining us. When we come back, we're going to taste his dish and find out a little bit more about this year's Local Chef Challenge. Back to you. Thanks. All right. Thanks, M.A. Uh, well, eight local chefs, one grand prize of $10,000. Yeah, Minnesota Monthly's fourth annual Local Chef Challenge is happening this weekend at the Rotunda at the Mall O America. Yeah, and M.A. Roscoe joins us from International Market Square with a preview of the slicing and the dicing and the savoring M.A. We get to do the savoring part right now. Mm. These are heavyweight bouts going down at the Rotunda, Mall of America, some of the top chefs. And what a culinary scene we have here in the Twin Cities. I don't need to tell you guys that. But head-to-head -head competition unless until two are left. Last year's winner is Vincent Francois of Vincent a Restaurant on Nicolette. And yep. he's our champion today, sticking it out. Talk about heavyweight. Since 6 o'clock this morning, he has been cooking not one, but two different dishes for us. And uh, Vincent, what have you prepared this time around? Uh, this is a pheasant tender. 
that I serve with a little bit of rutabaga, braised with coriander, mm -hmm. fingerless potato, and I do a little... Fingerless uh, potatoes. Fingerlings, yeah, it's very small, very tiny. <laughs> And no, it's fingerling. Fingerling. <laughs> and uh, we have a little uh, balsamic, I'm sorry. balsamic reduction. And here I use this uh, vinegar from Provence with raspberry. Oh, so, and yum uh, season it with a bit of coriander and a bit of uh, salt. Maldon salt give you a bit of a uh, Very taste. nice. As we get our ju one judge and one pseudo judge in to taste, I want to show you some video from last year. This is what it looked like at the rotunda. And... Stephanie Meyer, I'll ask you, because you are a food blogger and a writer for Minnesota Monthly, when the competition is actually happening, how does it work with, in terms of ingredients and surprise ingredients? So there are pantry ingredients that are equal and available to everyone, and then uh, there are four surprise ingredients, uh, three of which are conventional vegetables, seasonings, and, and then one surprise. Hmm. Something to throw people off. Oreo cookies last year, ginger snap cookies. So the fun of being a spectator is watching these top chefs sweat when they get, you know, a Twinkie or something like that in their, in their ingredient box and they have to incorporate it into this very sophisticated dish that they've made. That's right. Okay. Yes. Yeah. And watch them turn it into something delicious. Delicious. Okay. Let's take a taste of something that we we're pretty sure is delicious. Um, and I'm joined by Alex Herter of Minnesota Monthly. Alex, how do, you, how do you feel about the caliber of chefs that you have assembled uh, this year? They're incredible. I mean, we've got eight of the top chefs in the Twin Cities, and the Twin Cities scene has just an array of incredibly talented chefs, so we're really lucky to have them all. Well, thank you so much for joining us this morning. And so what do we think? What do we think of the pheasant tenders, rutabaga coriander, and fingerling potatoes, and a raspberry sort of vinaigrette yeah. on the side? Are we, are we liking this? What, what? Amazing. Yeah? Uh, Amazing. Yeah. Beautiful. Something we can serve to the kids. I hope Vincent puts it on the menu. He might put it on the menu. Yeah. Last, well, we were saying in the last segment that last year kimchi showed up as one of the ingredients. and. We hadn't seen a ton of it on menus mm -hmm. before that, but then what happened? Then all of a sudden, all of the chefs I, in the competition and around town all had a kimchi dish on their menu for the next couple months. Pretty incredible. Well, thanks so much for joining us. You are our champion, Thank you. Vincent <laughs> Franquois, and uh, be sure to check it out Saturday and Sunday at Mall of America. Back to you. Thank you, Emma.